Hi there! Spitfire here with Game Mode 5. Today we're going to be talking about a cool application that I've found. Um, it's completely free and available online. I will link it down in the description down below. Um, what this allows you to do is it allows you to play with your Android apps and kind of move your stuff around, play with stuff. Um, so that, for instance, you're not on your phone, you're on your PC, which for me gives me the ability to uh, record games that I've purchased from the Android store that I wouldn't normally be able to play on YouTube. Uh, but it also gives you a bigger screen without having to make you buy a tablet or anything. Uh, your input is your mouse. As you can see, this is my input right here. I've already uh, put on some applications here. This isn't so much a tutorial video as it is just kind of checking things out. Um, and uh, as you can see, pretty much everything works. Uh, there are slightly different interfaces, um, which you can uh, you can kind of toggle between. Uh, anything from a smartphone type interface to more of a tablet type interface. Here you see something that I use to keep up with the news called G Trend. Um, it's just an app that lets you know what's trending on Google at the moment. So we're gonna go ahead and go back. Um, and as you can see, there are some other miscellaneous apps here. Um, some of which I've played around with, others not so much. Uh, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba. Now, I have yet to be able to get um, Minecraft for Android running on this. I don't know yet the reason for that. Uh, however, I was able to get World of Goo running. No big deal. There we go. And the great part about this is, I no longer have to purchase World of Goo for, for my PC. Now I can play on this. And you guys can watch me play on this. And I can make you happy with video game videos about video games and stuff. All right. So we're going to actually, we're going to exit that. And let me really quickly uh, change here. So, as you can see here, uh, you have these buttons down here. Each one of them does something slightly different. Um, and uh, so this acts as your kind of your uh, menu button. Uh, so, for instance, if I was in Dolphin Browser, here we have the Dolphin Browser. If I were to hit the menu button, uh, well, it looks like we have to go through here. Now, not everything is fully implemented. Like, for instance, if you, uh, oh, there we, never mind, it wasn't working the other night. Great. Uh, okay. So, if I wanted to pull up the menu, I would pull up, I would hit that button and it gives me bookmarks, settings, so on and so forth. Uh, this acts as your home screen button. Just kind of tap that, you know, tap it. Um, this acts as your settings for miscellaneous things. All right. And uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, we can actually switch it to full screen, on and or off. Of course, you guys don't so much see that because I only shared a certain uh, screen region. All right. And so that pretty much covers everything. Uh, you can sync this with your phone so that, uh, let's say, if you're uh, playing with something, uh, you know, some new apps or whatever, you could just send them directly over to your phone if you decide you like them. Um, I don't know, it's a cool little toy. Uh, I may be able to use this professionally or YouTube-ishly, whatever. Um, I haven't yet decided exactly what I'm going to do with it, but uh, I wanted to share it with you guys because I thought it was really cool. Till next time, I'm Spitfire with Game Mode 5. Like, subscribe, comments, please. Uh. <coughs> I was holding that one in for a while.